Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, fashion, college, and all of the above. So if you like that content, make sure to subscribe. Today we are doing 50 plus Christmas gift ideas for the girls, for the college girlies, for the young married girlies, for the young single girlies, and all of those girlies. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. So the first thing we're going to start with is clothes, obviously. The first item for clothes is anything from Aritzia. If you're on the internet at all, Aritzia is the place to shop at. However, it's stupid expensive to shop at Aritzia. So anything from Aritzia, I've heard about their puffer jackets, their sweatshirts, their joggers. The next thing I want to share, I actually do have, and it's Abercrombie jeans. And they definitely are a lot different than American Eagle jeans because they are way thicker. And I feel like they're better quality. They're definitely more expensive, but I feel like it's a good investment. So I have this pair of the ultra 90 straight ones next thing that i would add on your list is good quality sweaters i have this one from last year from american eagle that i love because it's thick and i love thick cozy sweaters you know so i would recommend american eagle altered state urban outfitters or even gray bandit i've seen a lot on instagram for their sweaters shackets are so huge but they're also expensive for some reason so I recommend getting a shacket for Christmas, adding it to your list. This one is sold right now. It's at Offline. Next is a workout set. And workout sets are also expensive for some reason. But I love matching workout sets. They make me feel so cute. There's always some on Amazon. But if you want better quality ones, there's this one from Offline that I believe they still sell right now. This is like the top. It's kind of like a bra top and then the leggings. But other brands that I recommend looking for workout sets would be Offline, Set Active, Gymshark, or Lululemon are some good ones. On the topic of workout sets, if you want an athletic jacket, I work out pretty early in the morning and I'm always freezing. So I recommend finding an athletic jacket. Cozy socks. Need I say more? No. So I wear a lot of Doc Martens and I love cozy socks that are high. A pair that I want to show you that I just got from Airy are these ones with the little trees. I love that. So good stocking stuffer if you want to ask for these for Christmas. Something that's been very popular this year is slacks or dress pants. If you've seen like the slack or dress pant trend, it's very popular. And I know that a lot of brands sell them for more expensive so princess Polly does and maybe like urban outfitters or something but if you don't want to ask for the super expensive pair for christmas there's this pair from h&m they are just beautiful another trend that we've been seeing this winter is the puffer vests or the puffer jackets obviously these can be expensive if you want them from the brand name stores. I know Amazon has them as well, but I feel like asking for these things for Christmas is way better because I just like feel like throwing up when I spend that much money on a puffer jacket. Another thing that's like super underrated, but I just love them, are Champion sweatshirts. I have one on my Christmas list this year and I just love Champion sweatshirts because they're thick and they just feel so much better than regular sweatshirts for some reason. Another thing you need to have in your life if you don't already and you should ask for for Christmas are flare leggings. So I have this pair from Airy. I, Airy I feel like was one of the brands that got very popular for this. It's the crossover waistband too and then it flares out at the bottom but I know so many other brands have flare leggings like this if you don't want to do Airy. The last thing I would recommend, and I know a lot of people do this already, is pajama sets for Christmas. This is a set that I got last year at Christmas time from American Eagle. It's these plaid shorts and then this plaid shirt, which is super cute, but I know everybody has pajama sets for Christmas. Next category is going to be shoes. 
there have been so many popular shoes this time of year i don't know why but they're all over the internet so the first one is going to be the birkenstock boston clogs obviously everyone and their mom has them even my grandma has these so i didn't ask for them for christmas but i do want to get them i want to get them from the amazon dupe next thing that i did put on my list is the ugg tasman slipper I just think this is adorable, like cozy cabin vibes all the way. I just love this slipper. I've seen so many people wear it, even people in real life. So I did put this one on my list. Next thing I would recommend, and I've put this on my list for a few years now, is Doc Martin boots because I love Doc Martin boots. They're a great investment and they're such great shoes. So I actually have a collection here to show you, but I have my white pair. I have my black pair. And then I just got these for my birthday, but they're the brown Chelsea boot style. And I am obsessed with Doc Martin boots. So I recommend putting them on your list if you also want a pair of good quality boots. Another thing that's popular is Converse, obviously, because Converse are timeless and they never go out of style. So I recommend putting them on your list too. I have a pair of black high top Converse. I also put a pair of brown tannish converse on my list because i love wearing browns another shoe that's very popular and i put on my list is the nike blazer mid 77s they're so cute everyone's wearing them and i do like having an option that's not my black high top converse these were popular over the summer and i don't know why they're not so popular now probably because it's cold outside but Amazon slides that everyone and their mom was wearing over the summer. They're just so convenient to just throw on your feet. Feels like a cloud if you're going to like the store, going outside for a second. Last thing I recommend is like workout shoes. So Nike, Adidas, Hoka's. I know Hoka's are popular if you're a runner especially. I have this pair of Nikes that I got probably in the spring, but I love them. They're so cute. Next thing we're gonna do is accessories. So the first thing that I feel like has been very popular is the Lululemon belt bag. I just wanted something convenient for when I go on walks to hold my stuff. And now that I have this, I love it. It's so cute and I use it all the time. Speaking of bags, also put on your list, tote bags everybody can use a good tote bag and you can get them from local small businesses or i don't know really anywhere now i also think that you should put a purse on your list if you're in need of a good purse and it doesn't have to be expensive this one was from target and i just got this recently and honestly this is going to do me the job for like several years something i put on my list is a fedora hat and i've seen ones like this one from princess polly that are so cute and i've been seeing people wear them for the fall time so i wanted to put this one on my list another cheap thing you can put on your list as a stocking stuffer is hair scarves like this one here this one's from altered state but i put one on my christmas list from ava jewels brand sun glow because i thought it was adorable Something I put on my list is good quality jewelry because I've always bought jewelry from American Eagle or Altered State, Target, places like that, but I have found them to tarnish over time. So I put some pieces on my list from Majuri and Anna Luisa because I just want some pieces that will last and not discolor after a while. Another thing that if you don't have yet, you should put on your list is blue light glasses. This pair is just a cheap pair from American Eagle, but I know that there's like better quality ones on iBuyDirect or Amazon. The last accessory I have is claw clips because I literally use them all the time. They're just cute and practical if you just need your hair to not be where it is i recommend putting some claw clips on your list this next section is going to be the home section and this is coming from a married person that has a home but if you live in an apartment a dorm a bedroom i'm sure that you could use these things first is furniture because furniture is so expensive but something that i asked for this year was dining room chairs because we got a dining room table but not a chair set so we needed those 
So this is what they look like and that was practical for us. Another thing that we asked for for Christmas was a dresser because you need a good dresser, especially when you're sharing it with a boy, you need room. <laughs> so we asked for a good dresser. Another thing that you may want to ask for is a TV, which could be a bigger TV for your living room or a smaller TV for your bedroom, just depending on your living situation. TV could be a good gift for you. Another thing that we asked for is a rug. I don't know anyone that couldn't use a rug <laughs> and rugs are just so helpful just to spruce up your space. So we asked for a rug to go under our dining room table. Another thing that we asked for is wall art because we still have not really hung a lot of things on the walls in our home. So I asked for this set specifically from Target because I thought it was cute and minimal and it matched my vibe that I have going on. Something that's like underrated, but I've actually needed it a lot this holiday season is a mixer. We had a hand mixer that I broke. So I asked for a standing mixer for Christmas just because I felt like it would be easier to use for baking and things like that. Another thing that I've seen on other people's Christmas lists and I actually got it for my birthday is a cute toaster because I don't want an ugly toaster on the counter that doesn't match everything else that I have. So I know a lot of people like the Smeg toasters, but they're super expensive. So I found this one on Amazon. Another thing you can ask for is a standing lamp. I just feel like this is kind of random, but everyone has a standing lamp at their home and we use ours all the time in our living room. So a standing lamp could be of use to you or a a desk lamp, any sort of lamp. <laughs> Another thing that I actually use a lot and I didn't know that I wanted it until someone gifted it to me, but it was a Ninja blender and I use my Ninja blender pretty often. I like to make smoothies and I've actually seen people make pancakes <laughs> with it when they mix up the batter in the blender. Such a good gift idea. This other cute little set that I got for my birthday already is this spices set and I got it from Amazon and I don't know why this makes me so happy, but having our spices like all labeled and all in the same jar just brings serotonin to me. So if you're also like that, a spices set could be a good gift for you. This is something else that I asked for for Christmas, but it's those shower caddies because we just have our bottles on the ledges of the shower, but I feel like these are really nice looking and sleek and they just free up the space. Next, and you may feel like you don't need this, but I beg to differ that you do because I want this so bad. I want a bath tray for when I take my baths. I want to have a place for my book, for my phone, a drink, a snack. I am planning on being in there for a while, so a bath tray is something I would use very often. Next is cozy blankets. And I know everyone wants the Barefoot Dreams blanket, which I do not have and I didn't ask for it. I just get mine from Target, but if you want to be bougie for Christmas, maybe someone can bless you with a Barefoot Dreams blanket. This is something that I do want and I didn't ask for it for Christmas, but reusable storage bags like Ziploc bags. Honestly, I just try to not have so much waste. So having these bags would be so useful. Something that's not necessary, but is just definitely cute is the bubble candles. These have been kind of a trend for a while, but I just think that they're cute to have as decor, not to light because I would not mess up that design. Got this kettle for my birthday. And if you like to drink tea, hot chocolate, coffee, all of these hot drinks are so useful with this kettle. If you are someone that owns a kitchen and you're trying to cook, and I say trying because I'm not really a chef, I recommend asking you for a cookbook because they're so practical and I actually use mine pretty often. So I have this one from Better Homes and Gardens. It just says new cookbook. <laughs> but I know that Magnolia has a lot of good cookbooks if you want to spruce up your cooking, but this is like 
cooking for dummies and that's why I like this one. Another thing that I use pretty often is my diffuser. I have mine from doTERRA but I know so many brands have different diffusers. So a diffuser, an essential oil set could be great if you want just a fresh space, a fresh smelling space. Something that I actually use a lot as a college student but also just a person in general is a printer. And a lot of people actually don't have printers. The last thing that I have for the home section is a letter board. And I know that this was trendy for a while back, but I don't care if it's not trendy anymore. I think it's cute. The last section is just the other category, random things that I think you should ask for. First, if you don't have a record player, you need a record player in your life. Not only are they cool for old music, but they're cool for new music. And I have, this record here which is the olivia rodrigo album so it's proof that it's not old music but they still make records now so you can ask for a record player or records for your record player next thing that i put on my list is an actual adult perfume i've always had the body sprays and stuff and it's time for me to upgrade so i asked for this one from philosophy but i'm sure there are other great brands out there that's just the one that i was recommended next if you are a video game person you could get a switch or controllers for the switch or games for the switch if you wanted some new games i am a huge mario fan so i have like all the mario games and i like animal crossing something i'm asking for for christmas is a hosanna revival bible they're gorgeous they're so pretty something i cannot live without are my airpods so you could ask for airpods or an airpod case i know that there are pro ones out now that are bigger i have the old ones but if you are always on the go if you work out having wireless headphones so helpful. Another thing I'm actually using for this video that I absolutely love, this was gifted to me, is my iPad. And I didn't think that I would use my iPad as much as I do, but I actually use it pretty often. I use it for school, for work, videos, literally everything. Something I do want, but I didn't put on my list, is the five minute journal. This is popular all over the internet, but I just feel like this is a good journal to have if you want to start journaling to start being a little bit more self-aware and reflective i feel like this is a good gift obviously if you are on the internet at all you know that books have taken a rise lately so asking for books for christmas could be a good idea and here's some of my recommendations for you where the crawdads sing was amazing i loved this one i just finished it emily henry books are great i read the people we meet on vacation but i give it to a friend to borrow and next i want to read the book lovers so she is a great author and obviously if you know you know you've seen them all over the internet but it ends with us and it starts with us are good books too next thing that i want but i didn't ask for for christmas is a stanley water bottle You've also probably seen this all over the internet, but I actually am trying to drink more water and I feel like this would be helpful for me. Last two things I want to recommend to you is Olaplex. And Olaplex, even though it's expensive, I feel like it's worth it. And I'm a full Olaplex girly now, so I have shampoo, conditioner, the purple shampoo, the hair mask, and the hair oil. So there's a lot of options on what you can get from Olaplex. And the last thing that is breaking the internet and it has been for a while is the charlotte tilbury lipstick and lip liner it's in the shade pillow talk and i have seen it everywhere but if you don't want to get the full size and pay all that money you can get the mini set so that's what i got here thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because i love to do this for you and I will see you guys whenever I see you next on the internet. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.